My name is Musa Sise. I'm here to tell a story. The title of the story is My Wish. Uh, one day, I was sitting down with my grandfather. We were having a conversation. He told me this very interesting story. He said, when he was a very young boy, he told me, I wish I could reverse the time to be a young boy again. He thought that being a young boy is a kind of burden because in the house, all the domestic work, like fetching water from the stream, cleaning the living room, packing the chairs, they always ask the kids. All the grown up will be sitting down doing nothing. So he thought that was a burden. So he was wishing to be a man. All right, he complained to his own grandfather. Then he told his grandfather, he said, grandfather, I wish I would just be a man. And the grandfather asked him, why you wish that way? And he said, because being a man is like having the goose that laid the golden egg. Nobody's going to bother you. Nobody's going to ask you for, to do your assignment. You're just going to be like a free man. Then his grandfather said, not so fast. But every stage in life has its own challenges. Accept who you are and be careful what you wish for. Okay. But he was still troubled by the responsibility as a boy until one day when he met an 85 years old gentleman. They had a chat together. And he told the old man, the 84 years old man, said, sir, I wish I am a man. I'm tired of being a little boy. And the old man to started explaining, he said, look how many things I have done. He said, yet, there is so much more left for me to do. He said, I wish I am a baby again. I wish I can be a boy back so that I can complete most of these things that I wasn't able to do, to complete. He said, but if there's one thing left for me to ask the Father in heaven is to give me another chance to be a little boy so that I can revisit and complete most of the things that I did not do. Or at least I can just pray to him turn to him and say, thank you, Father in heaven. Then he took back his chair. I said, well, look, I am wishing to be a man, somebody who is already a man that has accomplished so many things, is wishing to be a boy. And then the 85 years old man was able to explain some of the reasons why he wanted to go back being a little boy. And then my grandfather said at that time, he realized that every stage in life has its own challenges and responsibility. And then he accepted. Until he said at the age of 20, 21, 22, he realized the workload, the responsibility at that time was way better than what he was having at that time. 
So he was explaining, sharing the knowledge with me that you be careful what you wish for. And now, I was able to learn from that. The moral of the story was, he told me the story so that I'll be able to accept the fact and believe that yesterday, the past always accompanying the present to the future. If the past accompanying the present to the future, and that in life, time is the most valuable resource every man cannot afford to mismanage. As the saying goes, Time and tide wait for no man. Since the day my grandfather told me that story, I tend to be careful what I wish for. Thank you very much.